I'm Nellie and I would like to welcome you all to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making another salad dressing. So recently I made a strawberry pecan salad and uh, I told everybody that I would be making a strawberry vinaigrette dressing to go with it. So that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> I am putting out, uh, I'm go going to be ma making, hmm, excuse me, I'm going to be making several salad dressings and uh, let's see, I put out, I've already have my Caesar salad dressing and everybody seemed to really like that and I'm so pleased. I'm so glad y'all like that. So anyway, some of the salad dressings that I'm be putting out, I have uh, oil and vinegar, French ranch, uh, let me see, a creamy cucumber and Hmm. Anyway, I have several that I'm going to be putting out, and I really hope that you guys will like them. And, uh, yeah, I have several more. I just can't seem to think of them at the moment. But, I'm going to get them all out there for y'all, and I really hope that you guys like them. So, but this um, strawberry vinaigrette is really good on my strawberry pecan salad that I already put out. And uh, everybody liked my Caesar salad dressing that I did, and with my uh, um, with my Caesar salad. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy these. So I want to thank everybody that has been watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys watching them, and I really love it when y'all subscribe. So I am putting out a lot of different videos every week. And I hope that you guys like them. So yeah, subscribe. That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. So, to get started with this, the uh, my strawberry vinaigrette dressing. The ingredients that we need are, I have my honey, and uh, some olive oil, and then I have my apple cider vinegar, I have my salt and pepper, and of course I have my strawberries. Yum! Okay, so this is a really easy uh, recipe. I think that you guys will like it. Let's get started. I'm going to scoot these over here. And then my strawberries. Okay, I'm going to wash these off. Now when you wash your strawberries off, when you rinse them, um, keep rinse them with the green on it because if you if you take the green off first, the leaves and the, the top of it here, if you take that off, then the strawberry soaks water into it, so you don't want to soak a lot of water into it. So if you keep the green on, it doesn't get the water inside of it. So, that would be best for today, and, and a lot of my different uh, recipes, I will tell you that. So, keep it on, rinse it off real good, and then we're going to cut it off, okay? So, I'll be back in a moment after I rinse all these off, okay? Alrighty, everybody. So, I've rinsed these off. And now I am going to just take the tops off, that green, just like so, with my knife. And you can buy little uh, little gadgets. They call them a tomato corer or a strawberry corer. And they're really handy to have. I used to have one. I don't now. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> But anyway, whoops, but I use that thing all the time. It's really good if you have to do a whole lot of strawberries. If not, a knife's perfectly fine. So that's what we're doing today. Okay. So I'm going to cut these into some little pieces as well. Let's see. Now these strawberries, since we're going to be cutting them up and all, 
they don't have to be perfect. You know, you can have some pieces. This could be one where some of your, maybe some of them are starting to go bad and you need to cut some pieces off. That's fine. We're going to be cutting these up into little bitty pieces and then I'm going to use my blender. So let me do these. I'm just getting all that, all those green uh, tops off. Okay, let me, um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut them into some, I'll cut them in some pieces, and let me show you about what's, well it doesn't matter what size, just cut them small, just cut them up a little bit, and I'm, I'm just kind of doing them like that right there, just make them you know, just fairly small. They don't really have to be small. I'm going to put them in the blender, but this is just what I'm doing. So actually, I just cut them a little bit bigger, I guess. Just cut them in a few pieces anyway. <laughs> It'll help. So, yeah. Well, you know, at least something like that. I just do that. That's what I do. Alright. I love working with strawberries. Yeah, they're so good. Everybody loves strawberries. Most everybody. <laughs> I do not know of anybody that doesn't like strawberries. Now, I love salads. And uh, I love fruit. Now, we need about a cup. About one cup. See if I have any more here. Some people just throw whole strawberries in the blender. If you have a really good blender, you can do that. You can do that. <laughs> I just don't. I cut them up a little bit. So, that's just me. So, I give y'all ideas on how to make some things. And, uh, you can make them your way, whatever way works for you. You do something faster, that's okay. But that's what I like to do. I put ideas on how to make things, how to make, a, you know, all kinds of foods. But I put out the ideas. That's really what I want to do. I want to help people to get in the kitchen and have fun and have a good time. And create. And do it your way. That's Wonderful. That's what you need to do. So, I am... Let me see if this is one cup. It looks about like it. There it is. Look at that. I might cut up one more. Something like that. I will do one more. So, you want one cup or a little over, that's okay too. So, there we go. One cup strawberries. Now, okay, so I'm going 
to start with the honey. Yeah, no, I'm gonna start with my my uh, apple cider vinegar. Shake it up. It separates when it sits. It really separates. So your apple cider vinegar. Shake it up real good. And we are going to use two tablespoons. I'm going to put it in my bowl. All my apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons. Okay, my uh, olive oil. Olive oil. We're, going, we're putting in two tablespoons. There's one. Two. two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, now our honey and it is <laughs> I have to get it to come down. Okay, we're putting in two tablespoons of honey. Come on, <laughs> come on. It had an air pocket in it. It's just stuck. It won't come out. It's in there. I have honey in there. Okay, there's one tablespoon. <laughs> and two tablespoons. There we go. going to put one fourth teaspoon one fourth teaspoon of salt one fourth teaspoon of salt One fourth teaspoon of pepper. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. Oops. Now, I'm going to take my 
have strawberries. We'll put them in here. Stir this up a little bit. Let them sit there for just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to get my blender and move all this out of the way. And I will be right back. Okay, y'all. So this is sat here just a moment while I got my blender. This is a wonderful salad dressing. I think you guys will like it. I hope you do. I hope y'all try it. I really hope y'all try it. And it's just something else to be able to make your own at home. There's a lot of extra preservatives and just all kinds of extra stuff and sugars and stuff put in in the dressings you know to make them last longer or to make them taste good uh, i like to try to make them myself because they're more natural that way they're healthier for you so i really hope that you guys try doing this okay i have it plugged in i'm just gonna turn it on let me see yet. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So now at this point, if you want to, you can add your little bit of water. And you just kind of add a little bit and taste it. And then you kind of know what you want yours to taste like. Actually, I think this is pretty good. Mmm. A little bit twangy. I'm not going to put any water. I don't think I'm going to put any water. I think I have in the past put a little bit, you know, like a two, two or three tablespoons if you like. Um, and then just taste it. And if you want more, you can put more. Um, it's really good this way. It's really good this way. I'm eating it at home. <laughs> so, I'm tasting again. I really think this is good. Just like this. So, I'm not going to add any water to it. It's a little bit thicker than some dressings. But... I think that's really good. So, I have two little bottles. My little, I call them my little dressing bottles. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to, I put a funnel down in it. And pour it in. 
warm one in. Now this one's not going to make a whole, whole lot. It's not going to fill up the whole thing. I blended it, but it's my day. Through. Had to poke it with a, with a knife to make it go on through. Maybe there was a piece of chunk strawberry in it. So, now you know what to do to it. That happens, just poke it on with it. Oh my goodness. Yes. A little more in there. Look at that, y'all. This is wonderful. Bachelors are wonderful too. They help out so much in the kitchen. They are handy. So if you have a couple of little bottles or some kind of little salad dressing bottle that you like, this makes this is nice. <laughs> I like my little bottles. dressing after you've tasted it before you put it in your um, in your bottles or whatever you want to put it in taste it see if you want any water or see if you want a little bit uh, more vinegar or you know if it's too sweet for you put a little bit more vinegar put a, a half a tea put about one teaspoon in extra or mine was not mine I didn't want to make it any sweeter so really if you want if you want it sweeter put a teaspoon of honey in if you want it a little bit more if it's too sweet already for you then put in a teaspoon of uh, vinegar apple cider vinegar so you can kind of change it up your way a little bit and to whether you want it sweeter or more vinegary like but I think you guys will really like this it gives you a wonderful start to your own dressing and then you change it up and kind of make it your way so that's that's what I always strive to do is get y'all to just start just make it try making it and change it for your taste yeah I know that you guys are going to like these. Look at that. Look at that. Hee hee hee. They're pretty. I love pretty things. But I love good food. And these salad dressings are wonderful. I made me a little salad. So I'm going to taste it on my salad. A little salad. Make me a little one. I got to clean up this. Built it. Okay, so I made me a little salad here, just a small one. So, and I have me some feta, feta cheese. Dump it on there. Just dump it on there. <laughs> Sometimes feta cheese comes out with big old chunks. I like them smaller. You can take your fingers and just kind of crush them up and they'll be, be smaller pieces. <laughs> That's easier than trying to use a fork and stuff sometimes. But, feta 
of cheese can be big pieces. I like it, but I don't like that big a piece. So, that's what I do. That's what I can do. So, that's what this is. This is a feta cheese. Feta cheese. And then... So this isn't my strawberry pecan salad like I made a few days back, but strawberry, some lettuce, feta cheese, some strawberries, I got a little bit of onion on here already, and another smaller one, here we go. start to a pretty salad y'all. It is a pretty salad. And that's how quickly you can make them. But the salad dressing is absolutely wonderful. So there we go. I have my salad. Now I'm going to put me some, some of my strawberry vinaigrette dressing on it. Yeah? You know I have to try it now, right? Besides just on my, uh, on a spoon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! I'll use that fork. Look at that. I put it on my salad. I have some salad, my, uh, feta cheese, and my strawberries. Now, I know that salad dressing tastes a little bit different once you've got it on your salad. So it's kind of a good idea to go ahead and taste it the first time like I made it. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Oh, it really does. It's so much better on the salad, okay? So, really, before you change it up any, you might want to try it this way. <laughs> because it's good. It is good, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I like this. Yeah. Been a while since I've made it. Mmm. You guys will like this. You guys will like that. I know you will. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, I'm taking another bite. That is good. You guys are going to like this. And it was really easy to make. You guys watched how I made it. And um, you can make it just like I did. Just like I did. Or you can change it up whatever way you like. I know y'all are going to like it. And I'm going to make a whole bunch more dressings. And uh, I hope that you guys check them out. I hope that you guys like these. And I hope that you like the way that I teach. I try to show every little thing so that I can show beginner young people who are just getting into cooking. Or anybody that wants to cook. Or wants to make anything, really. I try to show them step by step. So some of my videos are a little bit long. But that way I know that you can do exactly what I did and you'll get exactly what I got. And that's, that's what I want. So I really hope that you guys like this. I hope that you like my video. I hope you like the way I teach. And I hope that you try it. Thank you so very, very much for watching. And I hope that you'll subscribe. And if you do, I'm putting out all kinds of new stuff every week. I put things out on um, 
main dishes, you know, the meats and stuff, uh, soups, salads, all kinds of desserts, pies, pies, cakes, sweets, everything, and um, casseroles. I've been putting them out, salads. I really hope that you guys will check out some of my other other videos and I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you like it. So thank you so very much for watching and thank you. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. As always, bye.